Hello, everybody. Okay, so I received my birthday box from my very, very dear friend, Clarissa, who is known as Paper Confessions with Karamia here on YouTube. Um, so I've gone ahead and I've covered <laughs> the addresses and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox this. I actually had to film this video really early because there's some perishable stuff in there. And she told me that it's not going to last till my birthday. My birthday is June 24th. And today is actually May 24th, I think. It's Memorial Day weekend. So I have to unbox it now. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to have to put this to the side because it's so big. Actually, I have to put it behind me because I have no room next to me to set it. So let's go ahead and grab the first thing that was on top. So we have this bag, it says Bon Voyage. I wonder what this is. Open last. Oh, of course, I pull the first thing that you put on top and it's to be open last. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put that to the side then. Let me just move some things here and grab the next thing. Okay. So we have a Target bag here. Okay, nothing's on here saying that open it second to last. <laughs> what is this, Clarissa? Okay, what is this? <laughs> oh my God, what is, why is it wet? Uh, what is this? Is this the, oh, this is the stuff to keep it cold? Well, it certainly has melted because I'm just trying to make sure there's nothing like smells on my hand because the fact that um, it's going to be, I think it's supposed to be in the 90s this weekend. Okay, so I think this is what, this is what she was um, trying to refrigerate. That's why she told me I had to open it right away. Okay, let's put this in here. I guess I can go ahead and toss that. Ugh. Let's see. I want to make sure I'm still recording and that it's in focus. Oh, it's not though. Oh, Clarissa, thank you. Yes, I mentioned to her that I can't find um, any natto here, um, even at the Asian stores. I don't know why. I've already checked, and none of the Asian stores here in Memphis so far sells natto. Um, they have a Japanese section in, like, the largest uh, Asian supermarket that we have, and it still does not – they don't have natto, unless they've got it in a part of the store that I don't know about. And when I've asked the employees, unfortunately, they are Hispanic. They don't know what I'm talking about. So – Oh, I can't wait. I'm going to eat this for breakfast, one of them tomorrow. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video and I'm going to run downstairs and put this in the fridge now. Okay, I'll be right back. All right. So for some reason, when I got back, the uh, audio was missing from this video. So I'm going to go ahead and do a voiceover. Um, when I got back, and I was reaching in the box, I found another three packs of the natto. So I had to run back downstairs and put that also in the fridge. Okay, so I wanted, I do wanna say that I've had natto before. Um, I've had it when I went to Japan back in 2019 and um, the first hotel that we stayed at had it for breakfast and I just had to try it because I'd always seen it online on a lot of the Japanese vlogs and I was just curious. And you know, they always say that a lot of people say that natto smells disgusting, but when I tried it, yes, it did smell really bad, but when you taste it, it actually tasted really good. So, um, yeah, so I'm really eager to try the natto. All right, so let's see what I'm going to pull out from the box. Um, like I said, I'm doing a voiceover, and this is my first time doing voiceover, and I'm using CapCut. Um, I've been using it now for the last couple of videos so I'm still relatively new to it and it's a learning curve because I've been using um, Premiere Elements Premiere or whatever Adobe and I've just had a lot of um, problems with it um, I'm just waiting for the video to move on so that I can <laughs> go over what else is in the box so hold on let's see here I don't know why it's there we go okay so this was the first item Okay, aside from the natto, 
and um, the wrapping is really nice. I like the paper. I'm going to reuse that because it's a really thick um, like a paper that Clarissa used to wrap it. So let us see what's in here. It's funny because I don't remember the order that I had opened all of this stuff. Okay. Oh, so it is, I've got a really nice beaded pen and a fountain pen. Wow. Well, thank you, Clarissa. I'm surprised that you were able to uh, find me a fountain pen. But this one right here, these are one of those um, customizable uh, beaded pens that you um, you can do. I think I had ordered like a set of them from Amazon a while back, but I just didn't like the way it came out. But this one is really nice and it's purple, one of my favorite colors. I also like um, green as well, but this one is going to look really good in a planner. So I'm eager to try that out. And then the fountain pen, um, I've never seen that brand before, but it looks like it's a fine point, which I always like to, you know, use when it comes to fountain pens. So I'm really eager to see what the quality is, but I'll go ahead and open it up and see also if um, it comes with a converter. And I'm wondering if I can use those inks that I had gotten for a dollar from one of the bin stores. Um, so let's see here. I'm going to open up and see what it came with. Okay, so it looks like it came with an empty cartridge, which I can fill up with ink. And then it also came with a blue cartridge. Um, it looks very similar to the inks that I had gotten before, but I actually later on went back and um, got one of the cartridges and it would not, um, it wouldn't work with this fountain pen. So I'm just, it, I'm just going to have to use the blue one that it came with and then maybe try filling the other cartridge and see if um, I can, you know, use that once I use up the blue ink. But it's a really nice pen. It's very lightweight, which is good. Um, and I like that, you know, the cover snaps on. So thank you, Clarissa. That's really nice. All right. So I'm going to actually save that packaging because I'm going to use it for some specimen cards, the clear plastic. So that's why I'm actually putting it away instead of just trashing it. Okay, so let's see what's what else is in the box. Okay, oh yes. So the this is a um, coffee pour over. Um, I don't even know what you call it. Um, Clarissa had given me these one, the, uh, one like this before, but for some reason, I can't find it. My dad was using it and then he doesn't remember where he put it in the kitchen. I have, I've looked everywhere and I can't find it. My dad is turning 84 this year and, um, he's forgetful now. So yeah, um, she had given me one of these, I think about two years ago and I was using it, you know, and I like using this because I can't stand using like the Keurigs because I think it's such a waste of coffee. Um, when it comes to using a Keur a Keurig and we do have a regular coffee maker, but the thing is, is that you know, I only need one cup and I like my coffee really strong. So I like the pour over method. So this is actually, this works well for, you know, what I want. And I did look for it when I was in San Francisco, when I went to Daiso. And the thing is I saw it at one Daiso, but I didn't pick it up because I thought, okay, I'll just get it on the next visit. And when I was with Clarissa and we went to her Daiso, they didn't have it in stock. They didn't have the, the plastic one. They had the ceramic one and I didn't want to get that because you know it might break in my luggage so I asked her to get me the plastic one if it showed up again okay so let's see what else we have in the box here either I'm talking here or I'm taking my time when it comes to <laughs> pulling stuff out of the box I'm probably still talking about the you know the coffee thing Boy, I really don't like doing these voiceovers. <laughs> I'm just going to have to find some other uh, method when it comes to um, the wireless mic situation. Okay, so here is the next item that she sent me. And I like the bag that it came in. It's really cute. Okay. So let's see here. 
What do we have? I'm trying to figure out how to open it. There's a lot of goodies in there too. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to pull out is the Sakura sticky notes. I always need these because I love using them. And I've been using them with um, the items that I sell on Macari. You know, it was a little thank you note to the buyers. So I'm glad that she's stocking me up again. <laughs> it's a new um, design. And this uh, she featured in her last video with her Daiso haul. It is a um, card holder you know, like for your ID, or you can put money in there, attach your keys. It's got a lanyard on it. And I love the color. It's a lilac. What else we got here? So, oh yes. So she said, I can use this for my traveler's notebook, but I actually want to use it for my um, Hobonichi weeks. So it's actually a lunchbox strap, you know, that you would put on like a bento box, but um, this will actually work really well because the Hobonichi Weeks is actually, um, it's a hardcover and I do kind of need something like that to um, keep it from, you know, flipping open because I carry a lot of like um, the stickers that I use for my workouts in it and um, it's kind of been like sticking up or rather open and not flat. And the one band that I do have is not, it's too big. So this will work really well. And the next thing she sent is a sunglass holder. Um, this one is also in like a purple lilac color. And I like that it's a hard case. So this is really good for travel, especially, you know, cause you don't want, um, I mean, you're going to be throwing your bag and stuff in the overhead bin and, you don't want your glasses to get crushed. So this will work out really well. Thank you. Because I do need um, a backup case. <laughs> okay. So what else do we have here? So these are some really lovely lavender lilac colored stickers. I love this whole theme that you've got going on, Clarissa. Um, definitely going to use that in, you know, my collage work. These must be really, these must be new in other words. And then we've got here a, um, so it's supposed to be for like, I guess like business cards, but you can use this to store like ATC cards, but I might use this for um, travel. I think it will fit in a TN because it's like, in, it's almost like an insert size and this would be really good to store like the business cards you would get from like the places that you ate at, places maybe you shopped at, you know, things like that so that you can save them. So later on when you want a memory um, journal, you can use that. And I like that it's got a craft cover on it. And I'm probably going to round the corners because I always like to round the corners on my um, inserts. So thank you. All right, so let's see what else she got me. <laughs> I think I'm probably uh, either, yeah, I think I was putting that away. That's why it's taking so long. All right, what else have we got in that box? So we've got, looks like a set of the little tiny storage boxes. I did ask if she saw some more because she also showed this on her Daiso haul. And these are really great for storing like the, um, the little, the girl stickers, you know, like those. I have like um, two other sets that I haven't stored as I'm showing right here because I ran out of the boxes to put them in. So this will be perfect for me to be able to store them. And it looks like she's included some sticker flakes and going along with that lavender theme. Yeah, they're really pretty. So I'm going to go, okay, there you go. So that's what's inside the packaging. 
and I'm going to put those to use. Thank you, Clarissa, because I really needed those two boxes. <laughs> As you can see, I've got two sets. Yeah, and I think um, one of the sets was from my uh, Shein haul. See, so that's the difference between the two boxes, the one that I had, which is much bigger, but you know, it's fine. I should still be able to fit all of the stickers in there, in those. Okay. So let's see what else is in the box. So we've got, oh, wow, that's right. It, the, this was a, a sample of fountain ink and she got it from Mido in Japantown. I'm so happy because this is a really, really good ink. Um, but I don't have this color. It's like a black, I'm sorry, a blue black. And I actually have it saved um, on my Amazon cart. So I'm really glad that you picked that one. So now I can test it out and see, you know, if I like it. And if so, then I can go ahead and, you know, and buy the bottle. But um, yeah, I'm showing what the name of the ink is and the name of that particular shade. So I'm glad that they show the actual ink sample right there. Like the swatch, in other words. So I'm probably going to stick that in my ink swatch notebook so I don't have to do one myself. Since, you know, they don't give you a lot of ink. It's about, I think, 3, three ml is what they typically typically give when you order ink. I'm pretty sure because I know that the pilot ink, which that sample is, it's coming it comes in like a 50 ml, I think, bottle. So that'll work out really well. I think I actually want to try that in my Twisby once I run out of ink in it. Okay. So this next item is a shopping bag um, that she also got from Daiso. She's got one herself and she's gone ahead and sent me one. And you can attach this to like your purse, you know, or a tote bag or something like that. Um, this one has such a beautiful design on it. And, you know, it's, um, it's not too big, but it's not too small. It's just right for like, you know, if you're just picking up something really quickly at the grocery store or something like that. Um, and they're pretty durable. I've gotten a couple of bags from Daiso and they've held up really, really well. So um, I can't wait to, to try using that one. I think I'm actually putting the bag back inside the container. There we go. Sorry if it's out of focus. I don't know what it's trying to focus on. All right, so let's see what else is in the bag. Or rather, I'm sorry, the box. <laughs> Oh boy, she got me the Ube Mochi pancake mix. Now, this is so popular at Trader Joe's. And every time they put it out, it's always a limited run and it sells out so fast. I know it sells out so fast in California because there's a lot of Filipinos there and Ube is like really, really popular among Filipinos. Um, it's the funny thing is, Clarissa, is that my sister just gave me two boxes of this like two days ago because <laughs> she went to Trader Joe's and bought like five of them. And when I went to her house, she gave me two. So now we are good to go in this household here when it comes to Ube um, pancakes. But thank you so much for sending that. And then she's also sent um, something that's also Ube from Trader Joe's. I think I'm pulling it out of the box here. Yes, so these are JoJo's, funny. Um, these are so good. These are cookies. Now, it's funny because my sister did find cookies at Trader Joe's, but these are not the ones that she found. They were a different kind, and they were, like, a lot harder, but they tasted really good. Um, I'm going to show her the other box. I'm actually not going to give it to her because I like these cookies. Um, 
I did open them up and try them um, here, but you'll see. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to show it to her. So I'm sh looking here to see what the sugar is at. And it's kind of high. I mean, that's like 20%. But, you know, it's okay to eat it once once in a while. Um, so, yeah, it's vanilla and ube flavored. And the inside is like a cream. So it actually, I was surprised. It actually tastes really, really good. Better than the other ube cookies that Trader Joe's had put out ones that my sister got so I think I'm opening the pack yeah there we go opening the package and I'm going to show you because I'm going to try it out I couldn't wait Let's see okay so I'm tasting it here and they're so good they're very very sugary but I don't care Let's see look at that the cream on the inside oh it's so good. I'm not really a cookie person, but these, these are so good. So I'm going to have to try not to eat them all because I want to share it with my mom. Um, but she's not here. She's currently on a cruise ship going to Alaska right now. So <laughs> I'm going to have to put them away out of sight, out of mind until she gets back so she can try them. But thank you, Clarissa, for getting those for me. I'm so glad because like I said, my sister didn't see that those at Trader Joe's. And it's funny because I didn't even see them on Instagram. I only saw that the um, pancake mix and the other cookies that Stephanie got, um, they were featured on Instagram, but these cookies weren't. So it's funny. The ube color goes along with the uh, rest of the uh, theme here. So there is still more in the box. So let's see. I'm just trying to arrange everything. And pull it out. What, is, what else do we have here? I guess I was checking my, oh, I was checking my glucose is what it was. Okay. So she sent me this stamp um, set. And the funny thing is I just got this the other week, but I'm, I'm glad that you sent me this because I did need a backup. The reason why is because I was using the stamp set that I got with the stays on ink and stays on ink is like permanent ink that you can use um, on like leather you know, fabric, stuff like that. And um, I was using it on my tra uh, traveler's notebook, the fake one, to, you know, to, to kind of distress it. So um, I was going to go back and buy another set because, you know, like I said, the stays on ink is permanent. And I didn't, there's no way for me to really to remove it from the stamps unless I buy the cleaner. And I don't really feel like having to shell out money just to buy the cleaner. So um, I'm going to use that archival ink on this set that you gave me so I can use it, you know, for other stuff. But, um, yeah, I'm glad that you sent me that second, you know, that particular set. So now I don't have to buy another one. And here's the last item that's in the box. It is a Daiso bag and it's got a beautiful design on it. A geisha under the Sakura tree in the spring. And it's a pretty pretty big bag and it's um it's durable so i'm going to add that to my collection of shopping bags and put it in my back seat in my car where i store the rest of them so yeah i am very happy with all of the stuff that you sent me clarissa thank you so much um you know all right guys i'm back um sorry about the audio issues in the middle part of this video because I didn't realize for some reason that my wireless mic had turned off. It's so strange. Um, cause when I was about, when I was taking them off or rather my wireless mic, I noticed that the light wasn't on. And then I looked at the camera, um, the adapter and it was off too. So weird. So I'm going to figure out if I'm able to do the voiceover, but I forgot that I had put this to the side and this was like the first thing that I pulled out. 
after the natto. So um, let me go ahead and film, show you what it is, since it was marked open last. <laughs> and then I put it to the side and completely forgot. So this is the um, birthday card. And I am going to, op I'm going to read that off camera. Let me just take this tape off because it's going to stick to everything. Okay. And let's see what she put in here. So once again, I'm going to reuse this washi because it's cameras and I love anything camera related. I'll put it here on the card. Oops. Okay. Let's take that off. Oh, get off of my hands, sticky stuff. Okay. That one is a, ugh, it's pretty sticky, Clarissa. Okay, so let's see what's in this bag. All right, what did she get here? It's a book. A Wonder Woman book. Ooh, she knows that this is my favorite comic character. Okay, so it is Wonder Woman, The Complete History. Ooh, this is awesome. Aha, there we go. The original Wonder Woman, <laughs> Linda Carter. I grew up watching that show. It's my favorite show as a child. Look at that. So we've got all of the old artwork here. And then does it go all the way up? Yep, it goes up to the modern Wonder Woman. I think actually, okay. Now I'm just trying to see how far ahead it goes. So it's showing not only just the comic, but the toys and all of that. Let's see. Yeah, because it's this is pretty modern. Yeah, it's got Kingdom Kingdom Come, Wonder Woman, and then yeah, right there. Okay, so we're we're at least in the what? Nineteen nineties. Yeah, see Kingdom Come. So I'm definitely going to read this this weekend. Thank you, Clarissa. I love this. So there we go. That is everything that Clarissa sent me. And um, I just want to thank her so much for all of these wonderful gifts. I love the theme this year <laughs> of the lilac and purple. All right, guys, I hope you have a great week and a great day. Bye.